everybody and welcome back to my channel my hair is a mess and I have spray tan on my hands it looks like dookie um anyways I asked in my last get ready with me if you guys wanted to see an in-depth updated everyday makeup routine and that's what I'm gonna do today because I've changed it like a lot I change it all the fucking time like it changed I've made so many of these videos um, and it's and it's different. It's always different. I'm constantly changing. It's either if I like find a new TikTok hack or like get a new product or just like find something out on my own that works better. So and I have a lot of different products that I use now. So I had to go to my best friend's baby's first birthday. But I'm gonna show you guys in depth what the hell I've been doing. So let's get freaking started, bitch. I hope you can see me okay. Let's freaking do this shit. I'm gonna put my hair up a little bit better because this shit is gonna bother the fuck out of me. And the headband today is sunglasses. <laughs> Works like a charm. Okay, I washed and moisturized my face. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with the Elf Power Grip Primer. I use like a lot of it because I just noticed that it works better when I use a lot. And then I rub it first, just so I can like evenly distribute it. And then I start to pat it. Go lines on me, I swear to God for me. Okay. I never fake tan my face because it breaks me out and clings to my acne, so that's why my face looks like this compared to the rest of my body. Okay, and this part is crucial. Wait. You need to wait after you put your primer on. You need to let that shit fucking set and sink into your skin. Clear get a bab, it just got me cold, man. Look me in the eye, girl, we are not the same. Ooh, I should put the... I did this in my last get ready with me, but we should make it a fucking the fireplace again. Okay. And then sometimes if I feel like it, I just go in with more of the power grip from Elf. And then look how sticky it is. That's exactly what we want. Uh, excuse me. That was so cute. <laughs> For foundation, I've recently discovered this Essence Keep Me Covered foundation, but their fucking shade range is shit. They need to be more inclusive. So a couple pumps of that. And then I use a couple pumps of the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. And I mix them. Okay? Like that. A whole bunch. <laughs> Where's the brush I just had? And then I mix. And the reason I use these both is because one of them is like a glowy foundation and then one of them is super super matte. The Keep Me Covered is like very glowy and hydrating and then the Maybelline Superstay is like so matte. I don't know if this is going to be close to my color because I'm spray tan now but it's just going to have to fucking work. This is the e.l.f. sponge, the purple one. It's really good. Okay, and then I just blend 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 for a very long time i used to spot conceal before i put on my foundation but i just noticed when i use these two foundations everything is pretty covered because they're very full coverage uh. yeah well <laughs> i'm just gonna it'll be fine but like i said i blend my foundation for a very very long time like I want to make sure it's in every pore every crevice every crack it needs to be in there as deep as it can go <laughs> gorgeous now I go in with the Juvia's Place concealer what is this called I don't know what it's called I think it's I just does it have a name besides Julia Juvia's Place concealer I don't know is it Juvia's Place Magic excuse me, concealer? I don't know. Anyways, I put this under my eyes. I keep getting random hairs everywhere, all over my face. Like, not growing out of my face, but like sticking to me. I just put it in all these spots. Right 
here. And you see how I have these pimples right here? I just take a little bit more of the concealer and I put it over that, like I said. Chin, and then I like to go like this. Under my lips. I don't know what that really does. It looks like a uterus. It's a trust the process thing. You guys know this. This is how all my fucking get ready's with me's are. Like, I just feel like I'm a broken record, but it doesn't look good until the end. Okay? Pro I promise. My mission in this video is to not let my camera fucking die. Because that happens all the time. I look terrible. I go in with Elf Halo Gold Bleeding Boot. Elf Halo Go Bleeding. I go on with the Elf Halo Go. This. Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand. And it's in the darkest shade. I didn't mean to get it in that, but it works for me. Like, I actually end up making it work. Um, I put it on my cheeks right here, like my cheekbones, my forehead, underneath my nose, underneath my lip, and then my jawline. Beauty blender. Okay. I used to wanna kill myself. Just wait, bitch. <laughs> so I changed the lighting to like warm. Ever compare? I can't hear what you're trying to say. Okay. We're gonna see if that makes this look better. <laughs> um, keep blending. Loki kinda nervous to go to this fucking baby's birthday party because y'all know I'm sober a year and my friend Cynthia's family likes to fucking drink. Like they have open bars and everything at every fucking party even though it's a one year old's birthday. Like I know it'll be there. Um, and like, I'm, I know I, I know I'm gonna be fine. Like, I will have to tell so many people, and I'm fine with that too, but like, I just know that I'm gonna be offered alcohol a bunch by so many people because I used to drink with her family all the time, and they don't all know that I'm sober, so it's like, I don't know. I don't do good with people offering me stuff. <laughs> It's just like, I'm just so such a person that never says no. So it's like, obviously I'm gonna say no and say, no, I'm sober here, but like, I don't know. I'm also probably working myself up about this more than I should be. It's probably gonna be fine. Like, I'm probably gonna go home and be like, oh, that was literally fine. But you know, I'm an anxious bitch and it's hard for me to understand that's every, that everything's gonna be okay. I obviously have the option to just like not go, to not be in that environment, and I'm sure my best friend would be like, it's okay. But like, I can't shelter myself for my whole life. I can't do it. I have to like face it. Cause I'm gonna obviously, it's not like the world stops like when you get sober. Like the world will still go on and people will still offer you shit and you just have to be able to say no. <laughs> and not do that but it's like i don't know i'll be fine though okay now i put more of that concealer under my eye right here just a little bit and then the chin just a little bit and then here just a little bit and here all the other places just a little bit more and then i like cut this like that it makes it look cleaner it's not like i need more coverage but Oh, also, I wanted to say, I think I'm going to start posting on su uh, Sundays because it just works better with my schedule, um, with my new job. Um, I feel like it's a lot of, um, like, I'm already tired from my day on Friday night and then, like, getting home from work, like, late after working eight hours, I to film and then edit and then have it posted by Saturday morning is just, like, been too stressful, so I think that once I... Like my son, my Saturday being off, and then I'll film on Saturday, edit on Saturday, and then post on Sunday. Does that sound like a plan to you guys? 
I know I literally used to post on Fridays and then I changed to Saturdays and now I'm changing it to Sundays but I need to adjust to my new schedule because like working full time and then still doing social media as a job it's like I'm trying to figure this shit out okay believe it or not we're ready for powder damn my face looks gray I promise by the end it's gonna all blend together I think this is the wet n wild translucent powder literally my favorite ever wet n wild photo focus translucent powder does wonders it literally makes you blurred like a little doll um i make sure i don't have any creases and then now i'm ready to go in i got this powder puff from fucking shein it's literally such good quality um and then i set under my eyes first to prevent the creasing but then i go and set my whole face too bad little hose and i fucking like a pro but i set my whole face i don't bake i just i said this i sound like a broken record but this is something that hasn't changed in my routine i like don't bake my face i just i really push the translucent powder into my face everywhere like i don't end up brushing anything off because i just push everything in but i do do this like little line but it's like pointless because then i just bring it up <laughs> i don't know this is like my key into making my face look super smooth but if you like to be glowy bitch this is not for you because you will be matte as fuck but i like to be matte if i wasn't i would my makeup wouldn't last it would be off my makeup would be off in like two hours and then i even get my neck just make sure everything is in fucking place bitch and i press hard like this Press it real good. Get that good. Even the eyebrows. We don't want wet eyebrow hairs or nothing will stick on them. All the way up to the hairline. I'm just, I'm using the whole puff to do this. Like, I've said this before too, but this is literally like borderline drag queen makeup. The wit, the song. Get it all the way down here. Oh, and then people probably will ask what kind of skin type I have so it goes through phases but like it's mostly just like combination like in the middle um like it's not super dry but it's not super oily um so i'm kind of able to use like it's not dry enough that i put a bunch of matte products on it and then it like crumbles off but sometimes it does like i said it depends like when i was first using the pan oxal face wash my skin was so fucking dry but it was because of that and like I couldn't do this makeup routine like I couldn't put as much powder but like if you do have dry skin beware because this setting your face like this will probably like patch up and then come off and then I don't prime my eyes I just put the concealer and foundation on them and then I set them like just the same as my face I don't really do much eyeshadow so I guess it doesn't really matter but now I go in with more powder but this one's a foundation powder <laughs> Um, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Powder, and I take my puff and get a generous amount and lightly press under my eyes, not as hard as I press my the rest of my face. And it just gives me extra coverage and like highlights it a little more, makes it a little more smooth. I do it with my chin. Just certain parts of my face. My fucking body is a different fucking color on my chest I don't even know what kind of shirt I'm gonna wear but just in case I'm gonna I don't know put some of this powder down here and hopes for the best yeah that's helping yeah that helps okay makes it look a little better you guys like my tattoo between my titties so cute Punza. Maybelline no Milani silky matte suntan and this is when my the life comes back into my face and I borderline start to look like a chav I don't know I just put it here and since my face is round I like to bring it like like this and it makes my face look like you know 
my cheekbones and then my forehead only the sides right here anywhere I put that elf halo glow contour shit I put this and I use like dabbing motions and then I also use swiping motions I just do a combination of both and I kind of go overboard with this but it's fine jawline always and I even just like do all of it put like so much <laughs> and I don't forget this little spot just makes me look my face look more feminine 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 Ugh, that pimple is so annoying but yeah and then let's put it down here put it everywhere this is like the magic trick that makes me not look so crazy and I take it on my chin too and I like try not to make it look so pointy which is fine but like you know okay i'm gonna further blend that in a second but good enough for now i take the same bronzer with the makeup by ariel fluffy brush and i used to take this and do it on like my whole eye but i've noticed it looks prettier if i just put it right here it makes my eyes look more like open if i only do it here just to give it like some contour and then it also makes your um nose look smaller if you like the closer your eyebrows are together first but like if this right here also helps create that illusion too that like the, this part of your nose is smaller um so i put this here and then i always have um i always bring it down into my nose contour oh before i forget i put it under my lips like right here imagine i left it like that look how weird my nose looks don't do that Okay, and then I bring it down and do some nose contour. I connect all of this. It makes it just look gorgeous. Just to like bring my nose back out. <laughs> look at that, just making my face look so much more put together. Then I put it right here. But nose contour is different for everyone. Unless you have the exact same nose I have, I don't know if this technique will work for you. Or maybe it will. Try it out. But like, I just put it on the sides and then underneath. And that's literally all I do. Pretty much that's it. I don't know. I stopped like bringing it down like in this area. I just do right here in like a little line. And that's pretty much it. Okay, this is fucking key, bitch. You have to do this. I've just recently discovered this, but it makes everything look better. The same powder puff that has excess powder on it. I go over everything. I do this after the contour or after the bronzer. I do this after I do my blush. I don't do it after I do my highlight, but it just makes everything literally seamless. Like under here. Like the difference that doing this has like makes is like bitch i do it over my nose contour it just blends everything so much seamless more seamlessly but it also makes you look more airbrushed i don't know just try this out and i swear it'll change your life this freaking juvia's place blush this is volume floor floor Volume 4 Blush Duo. I use so much of this. This is Makeup by Ariel Brush, Morphe Brush too. And I use the light pink one first. And I just put like so much. I like to do different motions. I go like this. But then I also like make circle motions and I bring it up here. But like make sure it's like kind of overlapping your bronzer because then you want it to like not look like just like bronzer blush highlight like you want to like kind of put it over it because i don't know it just makes it all blend obviously in this general area but i'm not super neat with it such a pretty color i need eyebrows my eyebrows look crazy oh i put it like this just because I find that putting my blush in all these spots, like obviously your cheeks, but then also I like to put it on my temples like this. Not like a shit ton, but it makes everything just like look more cohesive. Is that the right word? I don't know. Look at me trying to use a big word and I don't even know if it's the right one. 
And then after I use that light shade, just get it everywhere. I use the brighter pink, just like not a lot. And I'm gonna only put it right here, like below, just so it's like a gradient. And then it looks crazy. Oh, we need to put it on the tip of our nose too. But guess what we do next? We take the gosh dang puff. And we go over everything again. I'm so burpy. I keep, or what is the word, gassy? Because that freaking Celsius. I'm telling you, bitch, the step of freaking pushing it into your face will make you just, will make everything look so much more gorgeous. I feel like this is the main thing that's changed in my makeup routine that makes such a difference. So this is the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. I literally go through phases where I'll fucking hate highlighting my cheeks and then I'll like it again. And I think it just depends on how much acne I have on my face. Um, but I'm right now I like it again. So, <laughs> But I only do it like on my cheeks. So when I smile, you can see it like that. I don't put it like all the way up here. And then a little on the chin. And then a little above my brows, just right here. And if I'm feeling crazy, I'll put a little right here. <laughs> do a line right here, down the center. And then the very tip, like right here. I always lick it a little. Just to really have it do what I need it to do. And now... To really melt everything into my face, I take a fucking setting spray. I like to be sparkly and gorgeous, so I mix this platinum blonde pigment into this setting spray. And yeah, so I spray a shit ton of this on. Here we go. Oh my god, I hate the way this one sprays. It fucking spits at me, bitch. Like a moose. Okay. My, it stopped fucking filming, but I sprayed it and then I sprayed my face, but then after I'm done and it's like somewhat dry, I always take my beauty blender and I go over my face to further just like melt everything together. And it's, it makes a really big difference with how my highlight looks. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles. I just love to be sparkly. Gorgeous. Okay, next up. I draw my moles. I have a pimple right here. Any moles or pimples that I have, I just bring them back. And I'm using the e.l.f. pomade, brow pomade, to do this. Like, should I make one of these a mole? I don't want to draw attention to that area. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to put this one. It's a mole I already have. And then this pimple. I don't want to go overboard because sometimes I can. I like to do one under my eye. What do I do over here? Or maybe I should just stop. Hmm. No, I'll just stop there. <laughs> Look at that self-control I just had. Perfect. Okay. And then next up, I'll zoom you guys in while I'm doing my brows. NYX Thick It Stick It. It's in the shade black. And I just make the brows, brow hairs that I do have, a little darker. But I make sure to get the ones in the front like a lot okay look at the difference that makes makes a huge difference okay and then after I do that I take this little eyebrow brush from MAC and then the same elf pomade I used to use the Anastasia dip brow for years and I tried this and it's the same fucking thing and so much cheaper so it's the lock on liner brow cream and espresso and I just draw some fucking tails and it makes all the difference <laughs> try to make them as thin as possible because I just feel prettier with thin brows but I don't really touch the front of my brow too much it's just like the mid and then the end but I like having my brow piercings because it makes it so I don't make them really like really thick so I do that and then I make the tail Like that. Always make sure to pinch the brush before I go and get more on it. I pinch it with my fingers. 
just like this I just did it but and then I dip into it but okay so there's the bottom and then I start here and then I make the top of it fully fade them into the front just so it's not such a harsh change I don't do like a crazy arch or anything and then I do just a couple little hairs in the front but that's pretty much it oh you see this little right part right here I try to like make that not so harsh I don't know anyways there she is <laughs> so easy this is like the easiest way I've found to do my eyebrows and I and I like how they are. I mean, they're not perfect, but bitch, what the fuck? They're nowhere near perfect, but they're good enough for me, bitch. <gasps> Wait, maybe they're not. I think there's more I can do to make it a little bit better. I love makeup, like love, love it. But like, eyebrows? Fuck eyebrows, bitch. Eyebrows, I hate fucking doing them, bitch. These lashes I'm about to put on are from Ioni. They look like this and they're from the Dollar Tree. They're, I don't know. It just says Wispy, Wispy Chris, Chris Kess. What the fuck does that mean? Dynamic DTB10. These are them. And I use Duo Lash Glue. I've worn these lashes a million times. I just hate opening a new pack and then like cutting them and fucking curling them. I don't like doing that shit. But I get the glue off of them obviously like this. And just pray and hope that I don't fucking rip it because I'm so heavy handed with everything I do. Okay, good enough. Do a lash glue. Put a fuck ton on them so they don't come off put so much but if you put a lot of lash glue on lashes you have to be patient and let them dry a little bit because if you try to stick it on with all that eyelash glue it's probably just gonna slip all around so be patient put on mascara this is lash princess the green one false lash effect mascara whatever I put this on my lashes and then I'll show you what I do not a crazy amount of this because I'm like just enough that my lashes are not, like, just not enough that they're black. I take the lash glue. I used to not do this when I started, and it makes such a difference. And I put it on my lash line, like, right here. And it makes them stick so much better. For the whole day. We wait for it to get tacky. You have to be patient. <sighs> okay, I think I can put them on now. Gotta figure out which side goes where. I lost my tweezers, so I just do this. Damn, someone's yelling outside. Hope you can't hear it. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Wait. I know what it's you now. No, it's not you. 50 on my boxes. Okay, one, and then I'll show you what I do in a second. I hate not having tweezers, but. Hey. Whatever. Oh my god. These eyelashes are low key, like, not the same, but. Just don't look too close. Anyways, I let them dry for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna. I don't have a makeup wipe, so I'm just gonna use my fucking flannel. I clean off on all my piercings. I make it wet with my spit. And I clean my piercing. I wet my lips like that. And then I. Like, I'll, I typically use a makeup wipe. I should have got one before I sat down, but. Loki, my shirt looks be works better. Yeah, doing this, like, gives me, like, the lines to be able to, like, put my lip liner on really easily. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but I pinch my eyelashes together, eyelashes, eyelashes together, and then I also, like, so there's no line but then I also push the skin from the top that had glue on it over it does that make it do you guys understand so then look at that compared to that it makes a difference but 
it won't work unless you put the glue on your lash line like I did. These lashes look so different. What's going on? I don't care. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put my nose ring back in and then I'm gonna go get my lip liner for my purse. Okay, bitch, we're getting to the end. And my camera hasn't died, but let's not jinx it. If you get anything from this fucking video, it's this lip liner. Damn, my lashes are so different. This is the L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner in Toffee To Be. It's literally my new fucking favorite lip liner. I don't think that I'll ever wear any other one. Well, I will, but as of right now, this is my shit. Um, I'm gonna line my lips. It's just the perfect color. Okay, bitch. What the fuck just happened? Okay, next, where to go? MAC Honey Love, look how pretty the lip liner is. It's gorgeous. And Mac Honey Love. This is like my shit. If this, you don't want to spend a lot of money on this. Um, ColourPop Lippy Stick and Cookie. Well, that was Fortune Cookie. It's just called Cookie. It's the same, but not as pink. It's more like peach. I don't know. And I put this right in the center. Look at that. Oh my god. It just looks so pretty together. Literally the best lip combo. Ugh. Gorgeous. And last but not least, I put lower mascara. I don't know why I do it last, but I just do. I use the same Lash Princess from Essence. Look at the difference it makes. I like clumpy ass bottom lashes, <laughs> but look at it. It makes such a difference. It just completes everything. It makes such a difference. I wish these lashes didn't look so different. <gasps> my little battery just came up. Okay, that's literally the end of the makeup. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll come back into the outro. Love you so much. I'm so glad that I made it through the whole video. Okay, y'all, I need to hurry up and go, but cute. Ugh, the cross on the cross kind of looks weird, but I don't care, bitch. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. I, um, I, I feel like I'm bad at explaining things, but I hope that you guys got something from this. Um, I love you guys so freaking much. I hope that you have the best day ever. Thank you so much for freaking watching. Be good to your brain or I'll beat you up, but you already knew that, bitch. You already knew that. Have the best day ever. I will link every single product down below. Love you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for watching.